Officers from several Houston area police agencies converged on a boat storage shed and began opening the shallow graves. They were led to the site by 17-year-old Elmer Wayne Henley. Henley told police in suburban Pasadena that he had killed a man who boasted of the murders of several young people. During the grave digging operations, Henley called his mother and told her the story on a mobile telephone. Mama. It's Wayne. Yes, this is Mama, baby. Mama? Yeah. I killed Dean. Wayne? Ma'am? Oh, Wayne, you did him? Yeah, yes. Oh, God. Where are you? Um, it's all right. Wayne? It's all right. It's all right. Where are you? I'm, I'm out of his warehouse. Where? Out of that warehouse he keeps. Can I come out there? Yes, yes. Okay. It's on the Park. She can't, no, you can't come. I'm, I'm with the police, Mama. Henley told police he killed 33-year-old Dean Allen Coral during a party at Coral's house. Henley said Coral had threatened him with a pistol and a knife, trying to force him into unnatural sex acts. Henley told police Coral had bragged about killing several young men and putting their nude bodies in shallow graves in the rutted stall. After further police questioning, Henley said as many as 18 or 19 bodies might be buried in the stall. And Henley said there are other graves on a stretch of beach along the Texas Gulf Coast and at a lake in East Texas. Henley and police traveled to the lakeside to look for the additional graves. A Houston police lieutenant says as many as 25 or 30 murder victims might be involved in the case. He says it's the work of a perverted maniac.